Hey, what's going on, Spurgeon? It's Chumisov here, and welcome to Minecraft Tetris. Yes, today we are going to be playing Tetris within Minecraft. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, this map is a custom downloaded map uh, that was created by a group of guys called the Redstone Development Foundation. And they went ahead and they created uh, Tetris within Minecraft. So, this may not look quite like Tetris just yet, but this is the control room, and these are your controls. And you're, actually, we play on a screen which is generated within this map so that's pretty cool so before we get started with all that let me go ahead and walk around the room and show you guys the controls and then i'll show you sort of the behind the scenes stuff and all of the crazy crazy redstone that is involved with this entire build so uh over here we have our buttons so we have start game in progress lights when that's on the game is in progress stop slash pause button and a new game button over here we've got scoring rules, so one line equals uh, 100 points times your difficulty, two lines is 300 times difficulty, three lines is 500 times difficulty, and a Tetris is 800 times difficulty, and back-to-back -back tet Tetris is 1200 times the difficulty, and a soft drop equals uh, one per cell. Alright, so then we've got our button, so we've got purple is rotate, uh, red is left, blue is right, and green is soft drop, and when this light comes on that means that there's the game over and that we topped out and then we have the difficulty here so it says here please set the difficulty to uh, or before a new game starts we've got easy we've got medium and we've got hard now I'm gonna be playing on medium difficulty so we're just gonna leave that there and as we fly out here uh, I will go ahead and oh my gosh show you guys all the redstone that is involved with this build and uh, no I did not build this uh, like I said earlier this was created by the Redstone Development Foundation as far as I know they are just a group of guys who does these crazy redstone builds and uh, what I love the most about this build is the fact that they use different blocks for everything now I, as a redstone coder I'm sure that this is so much more easy to follow when you have the different color blocks and you know which current stays on which block but to the naked eye and to somebody like me who would never in a million years be able to do this stuff it's almost saying to me like yes we know how to do redstone so well in fact we will go ahead and integrate the full rainbow within that build and sort of make you jealous of us and that's the way I feel because <laughs> they incorporated like all the colors of this and they're probably like hey let's not use one block let's make this thing look absolutely beautiful and that's pretty much what they did so, as you can see, this redstone contraption is freaking huge and so dark, in fact, that some mobs are spawning in below us. Um, but, uh, over here, they've also got sort of the, the part coordinator, and these are all the different blocks that are within Tetris. Uh, if you've never played Tetris, you totally should. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started, and actually, above us, uh, you guys may, may be able to help me out with this, because I personally don't know exactly how this works specifically. Um... All I know is that the map itself um, reflects what is above the world or on top of the world. So um, I would assume that these, this grid right here is the pixels that we play on because we do in fact play on the, the sort of screen that my little cursor guy is on right now. Um, over here in this box, are the pixels of these are representing sort of the next Tetris block that is coming down the pipeline. And then over here, I honestly don't even know what that is, um, personally. So, that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. And uh, if you guys know sort of how that works, you can leave me, leave me a comment down in the Swifter section below this video. But if not, then just enjoy uh, me playing Tetris. Now, before we get started, I would like to say that I tried this out earlier, and I did run into some glitches. There were occasional times where the blocks just wouldn't, wouldn't come. And I restarted the game, they wouldn't come. And so I have a fresh map now, I reloaded the map. I don't know if this is still in development. It is version 1.0 of this map, so very well maybe. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So let's hit start. And it's going to be laggy for just a second um, while it sort of loads up everything. And uh, now we're going to get our first block. So the first thing is coming down here, and uh, we can go ahead and start to move this guy around. So let's go ahead and move this one to the left, and I'm going to put him in the bottom left corner. So slowly you'll see him, there he goes, he starts to move uh, to the left there. And if we want to just drop him down to the uh, the bottom of the of the screen, we can go ahead and do that. Now I used to play Tetris as a kid, I had the original Game Boy and I still have it and it actually still works. Some of the pixels on the left hand side are kind of um, broken on it, but I found it in my closet before I moved uh, to my new apartment. And I flipped it on, and or I put new batteries in it, and then I put it on, and it still worked. And I was so I was so excited. It was so cool. Um, and I used to play Tetris on there all the time as a kid. 
Um, that was like the original Game Boy 2, like the, the big honking brick gray one uh, that took four AA batteries. That thing was legit. Um, let me go ahead and rotate this guy here too. But um, I loved that thing, and I loved Tetris. I've always loved Tetris. I've always been a big fan of Tetris. And I even, um, there was one game that I, I used to play in high school with, with a bunch of my friends for the N64. We got, um, I got a cartridge uh, for a game that was called the, the New Tetris. And it was this, you know, super cool game where you could create like these, what they called them, perfect squares. And um, there were all these combinations for perfect squares and they would give you like higher and higher points. And it was this really, really cool variation um, within Tetris. But what was really cool about it was you could play multiplayer and you could play against your friends and stuff. It was pretty freaking cool. Uh, I really, really liked that game. That game was a lot of fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I've always been a big fan of Tetris. So sort of when I saw this map yesterday on the Minecraft forums, it was on the front page of the forums, I was like, dude, i got to play this. So, um, yeah, so here we go. So I'm working on trying to get my first line here. Let's see if we can scoot this guy over. Come on, get over. Yes, there we go. And it's actually getting dark, which is sort of a bummer. When you load the map up, it will get dark rather quick because the sun, I think it started out at, like, uh, like, I don't know, like noonish. So, uh, let me go ahead and sleep here so we can get the daytime back because it actually is a lot easier to play when it's lighter because you can see your, you can see your screen a little bit better. All right, so what's coming down here? What is this thing? This is, oh my gosh, it's like bleeding into everywhere. I think the frames are freaking, oh no, 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 no. What's going on? That's not a block in Tetris. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, it's taking over. <laughs> What the heck? I think something may have happened to our screen, actually. Did something break on the screen? I think something broke on the screen. What happened? Oh no. Did something get messed up over here? It looks like the pixels got messed up somehow. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let me see if I can fly in here. I do have Optifine installed because the some of the frames are really bad. Um... But let's see what's going on. I don't even know. I don't even know how this works technically. I'm just going to try and be all cool. Be like, yeah, I can figure this out. Oh, I totally know what's wrong with, with your Tetris contraption. No, I don't. I don't have a clue. But um, now it looks like we are. Now it looks like we have, have been. Oh, my gosh. We've been stuck within the beast. I don't even know what's going on. Anyways. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this for you guys was I wanted to sort of just show you that uh, this map was out there. I thought it was really cool. I was super impressed with the build. And um, you too can play Tetris on your own if you if you so choose. All the information will be in the description below. And unfortunately, I feel that something has, has gone wrong here. So let me see if we can reset this game. I don't know if it was because I slept or what. I don't think that that would matter. But uh, let's go ahead and stop. And we're going to click New Game. And that should reset the entire screen. Yep, there we go. So it reset the entire screen. And now um, there are spiders out here and everything. Are you guys serious? I would like to play a game of Tetris. I don't want to be bothered by all of you guys. <sighs> do, I have to t do I have to handle you now? Where are you? See, that's the other thing. I don't know if um, if the mobs are disrupting any of the, like, the currents um, within the... Uh, I don't know if they're disrupting any of the currents sort of within the um, within the, the tracks here and stuff. They very well could be. I, I don't know. I'm not sure how much mobs affect redstone. But I'm pretty sure that... Oh, boy, you're dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, uh, that that they have some sort of an effect on uh, on them. But, all right. So let's go ahead and start a new game. And like I said, it's, it's a little bit slow. Uh, I haven't played long enough to know if... Uh, if sort of the uh, the game gets faster as it progresses. I know normal Tetris does. As far as I know right now, this is a fully functional working game of Tetris provided that the game doesn't mess up kind of like it did earlier. Um, but that being said, uh, this is just a freaking amazing build within Minecraft alone. And just the thought and the fact that you can literally sit here and play Tetris in Minecraft is just, it blows me away so um, I don't know what's going on with that red pixel like up there I'll point to it with my little cursor I don't know what's going on up there what, what the, the deal with that is um, but it seems like it seems like it's working okay now so let's go ahead and see if we can at least at least get like one line out of this thing um, looks like those are there are two pixels left over there on the bottom though which is kind of a bummer 
Um, all right, so let's see here. I want to rotate this guy. Rotate. And rotate again. So the only thing I've had trouble with control-wise is the rotations. Um, and this dark green is rather hard to see against that dark gray background. Uh, there we go. Now let's move to the right. Move to the right, buddy. There you go. Move again. Nice. So uh, there are notes, uh, like sort of note blocks that sort of tick away. Um, I guess they're sort of representative of the time. Um, within Tetris or something. But uh, there is a little jingle that sort of plays once you've placed a... Um, once you've placed a block down. Now why did you do that? No, no, go over here. Go over here. so hard to see. Yeah, it's really hard to see. Alright, so you can hear that din din is sort of like when the, um, uh, when it means that you've hit the bottom, basically. So this should be an easy line to get here. I'm just going to move this guy over to the right, and then we will use the soft drop to sort of drop him down. Um, now, when I used to play Tetris as a kid, there was a soft drop and there was a hard drop. Uh, actually, pressing up, like, dropped them all the way to the bottom. And, um, obviously, you had the A A and B buttons on the Game Boy that, that sort of rotated the, um, they rotated the, the Tetris pieces. But for this, for this model, we just have a soft drop and then the up button is the um, rotate button. So, that's kind of cool. But here we go. We're going to get our first line. And the line will clear itself there, which is pretty cool. And then those pieces will drop down below that. So anyways, you guys, that is Tetris for Minecraft. Um, if you want to download it, the link will be in the description below. And uh, make sure you guys check out their video as well uh, of the game. And I'm sorry that it's a little bit laggy, but uh, when you're dealing with a lot of redstones and a lot of pistons, um, things are bound to be fairly laggy. But uh, if you've got a pretty good computer, you could probably be able to handle this map. I'm sure when I get my new computer, this map will probably be a breeze. Um, then again, Minecraft does eat up a lot of resources on your computer. So it's hard to judge whether that one will always be a given or not. But if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below. And uh, also make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more awesome videos like this. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, my name is Chimney Swift, and I'll talk to you later. Peace!